Alright everyone, it's Missy here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my March update for the That's Expensive Project Pan. This was a project created by me that we started back in December 2020 and ended in December 2021. It then became the Fantastic Ladies Club and we started, I want to say December 28th. Yes. And we go through December 27th of 2022 and you pick the most expensive products in your collection and work on them. And for some people that's Tom Ford, for some people that's Milani or XX Revolution. It's completely up to you. Eight to 10 products, set your own goals, make it rolling or not rolling. I love to leave my products projects a bit more open-ended because not everybody pans the same. So you will find all the information along with a sign-up sheet and a list of master or a master list of participants in the description box down below. If I'm a little flustered, <laughs> it's because I'm a little flustered. I just got off the phone with my rheumatologist's office. It's been a hot mess express the last couple of days. So just bear with me. Okay, okay, okay. So let's start with the one empty that I have this month, and that's this. I finished my Fenty matchstick in cinnamon and minimum. <laughs> As you can see, I dug that puppy out. I really, really enjoyed this, but I was very hesitant to buy another one because as I mentioned, I worked on a full size, the amber in this last year in this project and it was so, it was awful. I hated it. So I was, cons I was really iffy on the, um, the quality and the kind of consistency. So I went a different direction with my um, luminous bronze cream bronzers, but I did enjoy this mini and I think it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's that's an empty. That is that is the only empty, but we've got some really good progress and I'm really excited about it. So let's start with this one. This is the cargo like swimmables foundation, which is like super thick, super matte, super, super, super. <laughs> Ended up mixing this with the Joa liquid. It's a liquid foundation and it was still too thick. It was still was subtle, like it looked like a very cakey mess. If you saw my deck of painting update, I showed you pictures of what it looked like on my face. But I have found that if I use an oil as a primer before wearing this, it turns out beautiful. It's what I have on today. It's a little dark because I'm trying to finish up this little NARS sample. And you can see just how dark this is. This is beautiful. This is their light reflecting foundation. Maybe I bought one. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful. Love it. It's beautiful. And um, I have made really good progress on this. So you can see we were at the bottom because it was brand new and I've used this seven times. So to me, that's pretty good for such a thick, thick and like just thick. It's thick. I don't know what else to say other than it's really, really thick. It was a little bit of a struggle to use, but I'm glad I figured it out. And I really, like, I really love the way my skin looks today. Um, and the last couple of times I've worn this, I've gotten lots of compliments on my skin, especially on Instagram. So yeah, if you have a super matte foundation that's not working for you, try just a little bit, a little, little bit, like a little, little bit of oil underneath it. And I think you will like the results. So there's that one. The other foundation <laughs> I have in this is this. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation. And I thought I was just about done with this. I was like, oh, this is just about done. It feels like I've used this a lot. I'm going to try to take the stopper out. Don't do that. Don't even attempt it. If you have done it successfully, I'm so happy for you. But I pushed it all the way in. It took me an hour and a half. Like, I think I worked on this for probably an hour and a half. It's so thick. It's like the thickest stopper I've ever seen. It's also a very hard plastic where a lot of the other ones are a bit more malleable, if that's the right word. So I ended up having way more than I thought I did, number one. But I also ended up getting the stopper in and I couldn't get the stopper out, so I couldn't pour this back in. So this is actually <laughs> my Rare Beauty Foundation and it's way more than I thought was left in there. So that packaging was very, very deceiving. I've had this for two years now because I bought all of this the day it launched. So I'm trying to get this used up because um, the other thing I'm working on in this is this. This is their primer and this is just a mini. You can see where I was and where I am now. This has gone off and in my deck of painting, I believe I'm working on this blush, which has also gone off. So anything that I've purchased then has started to go off. The only two things that I have left from Rare Beauty to start for this project 
is the liquid illuminator and then the concealer I bought for a bronzer. These, I think these are both fine. Yeah, no, these are both fine. It's the, it's this and the blush that have gone off. So my goal is to finish this and hopefully by the next time, the next update, this will be an empty. I have used the Rare Beauty Foundation nine times and I've used the primer seven times. So making good progress. I literally just started these in the last month. So that's why you're seeing not the most, not the most. Uh, one thing that I am making a lot of good progress on is this. This is the Gargo Purple um, Swimmables something or other. What's it called? Swimmables um, Eyeliner. This is a brand new one, so you can see just how much I have used up. I've mentioned that this one is one that I will sharpen it. I will use it two or three times. I will go to sharpen it again and half of the lead will break off and so I have to sharpen down at least an inch. That's how I'm going through this one so quickly. I don't know how much, how quickly this one will go, it's on a different project, but I have a feeling this is going to be gone next update. I didn't use it today because I didn't really want any eyeliner on this look today, but I've been using it like crazy. So hopefully this one be, will be an empty next month. And I've used that one. 15 times. Next I have the Benefits What's Up. I have used this one seven times. You can see where we were the first time and where we are now. This is a bit dark for me, which is why it doesn't get a whole lot of use. Um, you can see it. You can see it right there. It's really, really pretty. It's not one that I would repurchase, but I am trying to use it up. Uh, next, <laughs> is my petal lipstick from Becca. I melted it down to a blush and I will see if I have any pictures of it and I'll insert a new one. Um, you can see that I have pan in the middle but that's just because I was testing how far and how deep this went. Um, I used this seven times um, the first update and I've used it 11 more times. So I've used it 18 times. Anytime I wear like a purpley look, I use this as a cream blush underneath it. It turned out to be a very beautiful, a really, really pretty cream blush. I hate that I didn't get to wear it as a lipstick, but I think it's gorgeous as a cream blush. And it's not too dark. It's not too um, heavy for me. That's one of the problems I have with normally, normally with like a, a purpley kind of um, blush. So yeah, my goal is to finish that. It's going to take all year, I have a feeling. But it would also if it was, you know, me just painting it as a lipstick, I think. Uh, speaking of lipsticks, <laughs> on my lips today is the Stila All Day Lip. I used this three times. Um, the first update since then, I've used it eight times. There's no really, like there's no line of demarcation, and I don't think I weighed this, so we'll see. I mean, this is probably going to take uh, forever. My main issue with this is that the wand, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. It's, okay, can I even show you this? It's so, can you see that? It's so flimsy. It's so flimsy. And I'm not someone who uses a lip liner unless I want big fish lips and that's not a look I always go for. So it sometimes can get a little messy. It gets all over my teeth. It's, I don't care for it. It's, I don't know. I don't love it, but I'm trying to use it up. So there's that. Goal is to finish. My goal and everything is to finish it. Um, next I have my, I believe this is in <laughs> this project. This is my Touch and Sew, yeah, my Touch and Sew No Pore Bloom Essence. I was able to make a little mark. I haven't really been using this much because it hasn't been playing well with the foundations that I use. So I don't really know um, how I'm going to finish this up. I may just have to put this to the side until I bring in a foundation that it meshes well with. But I, I enjoy it. It feels nice on my skin. It's definitely not something I would repurchase, but it is something that I'm trying to use up. It came from BoxyCharm. There you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that it? Oh, the last thing I keep, I keep forgetting to update you guys on is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So this was brand new when we started. And you can see I've got a pretty good dip going. I use this as my eye base. Every time I do my makeup, um, I have this on. I really, really enjoy it. I don't set it down. Um, I like to leave it as is, and it works really, really well. I really enjoy it. I prefer painterly 
over soft ochre because soft ochre is so flippin' yellow. And like I've said, I've discovered I'm a bit more of a neutral kind of undertone. So it's just way too yellow. This is like basically a perfect match for my skin tone. It just does a really great job of canceling out the lines, not the lines, like the veins and stuff in my eyes. So last thing is my skincare. This is the Pharmacy Honey Halo. Honey Halo Cream. Again, not one that I'm weighed or measured or anything. I was using this as my daytime moisturizer, then I flipped it. Um, I'm using the It Confidence in a Cream for the daytime and this for the night. This is just so much thicker and a bit, um, what's what I'm looking for? It just works better for me at night than the It Cosmetics one does. They're both beautiful. Um, it has that, <laughs> maybe that's, that's honey. I don't know. I don't have honey. I have a very vivid memory of being two and a half, three years old, having a really sore throat and my mother making me drink half a cup of honey. And like, it's a very, very, very vivid memory <laughs> of trying to drink that really thick, viscous, ugh, and I, I, I can't, I don't like the smell of honey. I don't like the taste of honey. I don't want honey near my mouth, near my face. And I think, and maybe that's the smell I smell. I don't care for the smell, but I love the products. So, of course, the only one that I don't love is the Feeling Good, and that went to Kim. And she's enjoying it, and I'm so glad someone is, because I hated the smell with the passion of 10,000 men. So that's it. My goal for next update is to have the primer done, um, possibly have this done. I want to make more progress in the um, foundations and the blush. Hopefully I will have started one or one of these. I'm currently working on um, a couple of that are in different projects that end before this one. This one ends in December. Those end in like September, October. So we're just going in a row and we're going to see how far we get. But that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Let me know if you've joined this project. It's not too late. It's not too late to join any project, really. Seriously, just jump in and let me know so I can follow you. Make sure you're using the hashtag here or over on Instagram and tag me. I'm at Misty Pans. Um, that way I can come follow you and comment on your progress photo. Um, I am following the hashtag, so I do see... Um, all the posts for the most part, but if you're not using the hashtag, then I can't find you. So tag me. But that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will consider subscribing. I love your faces. And oh, I always mess this up here lately. See? Brain. Okay, let's start all over. I hope you will consider subscribing. Have a great day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your faces, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.